All right, here's another optimization problem. I have a fiber optic cable needs to be installed between points A and B. The point A is on the bank of a 90 foot wide river. So this is 90 feet. Uh, and point B is on the opposite side of the river, 200 feet downstream. So point B is over here. And apparently this distance right here is 200 feet. Okay. If it costs $500 per foot to install the cable along the ground and $1,000 per foot to install it across the river, find the minimum cost of installing the cable. All right. First thing I notice, minimize the cost. So I'm going to need cost equals. Now I got to look at what my options are. What, what, what variables do I have involved here? Well, I look at this and I say, I could just put the cable straight across the river, or I could go down the river and then say straight across, but diagonal across the river, or I could go down to here and go straight across the river, or maybe I could do something sort of in between. So go along the bank for a while and then come down here. So that's, that starts to give me some ideas of, of possible um, things here. Um, it looks like the variable involved, let's say, is um, you can do it either as this distance is the variable or this distance is the variable. Um, I'm going to do this one right here. I'll say x. So this distance right here is 200 minus x. Now you might have called one of them x and one of them y and say that x plus y is 200 and then you know we're going to have to get rid of one of them anyway. So let's, let's just say that this point right here is where I transition from going along the riverbank to across the river. Now this this setup, this, this problem is, um, I say, a classic one just because it shows up so many times. And, and, and actually in, in different uh, scenarios, I've seen this one where um, it, you're, you've got a you know, you're in a race and you're trying to get from here to there and you have the option of swimming, you know, across the river or running down the bank and then swimming and you can run at 10 miles an hour, you can swim at 5 miles an hour, um, you know, and you want to minimize your time, right? Here I'm minimizing cost, on that you might want to minimize your time. I've seen it where you're, you're trying to get from here to there and you're um, you've got a freeway that you can drive, you know, 80 miles an hour on, but then you're going to have to bushwhack for a while, get off the freeway and drive across open terrain. And you can only go about 10 miles an hour or something like that. You know, what's the, what's the minimum time? Um, so, uh, the, the setup is, is very similar to a lot of problems, but in each one is a little difference of what are you trying to do? In this case, I'm trying to minimize my cost. So what I need to do is I need to figure out the cost of each one of these two pieces. So there's going to be the cost along the, this side and then the cost going across the water. Okay. Now the cost is given to me in uh, $500 per foot. So if I can figure out how long that is, uh, then then I can get the cost. Actually, I can see how long that is. That's 200 minus x. So if x is this distance right here, then 200 minus x is the distance that I'm going to move along the, the riverbank there. So $500 times $500 per foot times 200 minus x feet. Well, that's going to be the cost of the of the fiber optic cable along the edge there. Now I need to find out how long this is so I can multiply by the cost per foot of that. Well. As a function of x, this is going to change. Um, there seems to be a right triangle in here, and the 90 feet is this side right there. So the length of that, um, the length of that hypotenuse right there, is the square root of x squared plus 90 squared. So that length, let's come back to blue here. I've got my thousand dollars per square foot. Not square foot, thousand dollars per foot, times the length of that edge, which is x squared plus ninety squared. Uh, are there any conditions on x? Well, certainly it wouldn't make much sense to go past this and then come back this way. So let's say x is at least zero, 
and at most x would be it really doesn't make sense to come out this way and then come over so it looks like x is probably no more than 200 okay uh, so there we go um, I've got two endpoints and I'm gonna look for critical points um, critical points. So critical points where the derivative is zero or the derivative is undefined. So let's take the derivative of c with respect to my variable x here, um, which is actually if I distribute this through, that's just a constant and then the 500 times negative x. So minus 500 plus, well, what just happened there, plus uh, a thousand times the derivative of this thing, which is going to be a half times that square root to the, on the bottom because you're going to have it to the negative a half right times the derivative of the inside which is 2x so I've got um, this could it ever not be defined? Well, if, the der if, if x is equal to 0, no. No, this is always positive denominator, so there's no, nothing that goes wrong. So the only critical points are if their derivative is equal to 0. Right? Critical if 0 equals negative 500 plus 1,000x over the square root of x squared plus 90 squared. So solve for x. Um, what am I going to do? I want to uh, bring the 500 over and bring the square root over. And this is equal to 1000x. I'm going to divide both sides by 500. Before I do anything else, I've got the square root of x squared plus 90 squared squared equals 2 x squaring both sides I've got x squared plus 90 squared equals 4 x squared uh, so 90 squared equals 3 x squared uh, square rooting both sides I've got 90 equals the square root of 3 times x so x is 90 divided by the square root of 3 which is that's 30 times 3, so 30 times the square root of 3. How big is that? 30 times the square root of 3. Checking my calculator real quick here, if I can figure out how to use my calculator. 30 times the square root of 3 is 51.96. So it looks like 51.96, which, which would leave, that was 200, so this would leave 148.04. Uh, that's how far you got to go along there, and then come this way. Um, have I answered the question? Actually, I don't think so, because I think it asked for what is the minimum cost. Okay, well, let's do something here, because I, I haven't checked my endpoints yet. So I'm going to figure out what's the cost uh, I'm going to write my cost function down again just so I can remember what it is. So it's 500. So the cost was 500 times 200 minus x plus uh, 1,000 times the square root of x squared plus 90 squared. Okay. So I need to check the cost at the end point 0. I need to check the cost at my critical point. What is my critical point? Um, 30 times the square root of 3, and I need to check the cost at um, the other endpoint, which was 200. Right? Um, I don't have any way of knowing necessarily that my critical point is a max or a min, but I do know that this is a continuous function. Um, it's got to have a max or a min. They have to happen either at critical points or endpoints. There's only one critical point. There's two endpoints. And so we're going to figure out what these are. When I plug a zero in here, I get a cost of, well, this would be 
10,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, actually 5, 100,000 plus 1,000 times, plugging a 0 in, 90. So I've got, I ought to be able to figure that out. Uh, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and a 9. So 1, 9, 0. Zero, zero dollars, right? That's what you get when you plug the zero in. When you plug the 30 radical 3 in, you get, quickly doing it on my calculator, I've got 1779422 point, that's a 2, point two eight six three dollars which is actually less than that, right? That's 190,000, this is 170. And when I plug the 200 in here, I get I get 219,317.12. So, um, so these indeed are bigger and the smallest one here is at that critical value. Um, so the minimum cost is $177,942 and a little over 28 cents to, uh, to install that cable. Um, what did we do? We established our objective function, minimize the cost, so I have cost equals. I established a variable which would show me the range of possibilities uh, in the problem. Um, so I use that as a variable. Um, to be able to describe the different paths that we might take uh, with our fiber optic cable. For each value of x, I figured out what the cost is. So I have my cost as a function of the variable. Now I need to optimize. I need to find a minimum. Um, I looked at what the endpoints were, the, the range of, of, value, of values of my variable that, I, that are pertinent to this problem. And uh, then I looked for critical points took the derivative, set it equal to zero, solved for x. Once I had my critical points and my endpoints, then I plug them into my function to see what gives me the maximum and what gives me the minimum, and I was looking for a minimum. So there you go.